Hello everyone, this is Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today, guess where I am? Sunland Cove campsite. Yep, so today I'm gonna do a video just about this Sunland Cove um, campsite just for people who you know want to come to Cornwall and you can you like to find a really good campsite. For me, I think this is one of my favorite campsite in the whole country and I did lots of videos about Cornwall so this is how much I love Cornwall <laughs> um, yeah I even like to do a video about the campsite and um, like 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 I uh, I said in my previous videos um, we've been really lucky this year because we got a caravan and we spent three and a half weeks this summer in Sunland Cove campsite. So today I'm just gonna do a very quick tour, just tell you um, all about it. Um, and I hope you find this video very useful. Just before I get started, um, YouTube is the first you know, platform I start doing videos. Um, and that's why I want to <laughs> do videos. But my English channel, so on YouTube I have two. Uh, one is a Chinese version, so I speak um, Chinese, and it's obviously for Chinese people. And then I have English one, I speak English, and this is for English speakers. The Chinese YouTube channel is getting much better and better, um, but the English one is still not very good. <laughs> um, because <laughs> Maybe people don't find uh, my videos very interesting. But anyway, I'm trying my hardest. So I just want to shout out to my uh, TikTok followers. If you can use TikTok, you can use YouTube. Can you please uh, subscribe? <laughs> I really need your help. <laughs> okay, now let's get started. We'll just do a, a very small tour. Um, and I'll try to make this video interesting, as interesting as possible. Um, so this is a small road. You drive down to this road and here is entrance, right? When you just drive here and you can see this small house, there is a reception. One thing I do want to mention is the staff here are absolutely amazing. Um, and we just love the staff here. Um, this is our very last two days now. Uh, we're gonna probably grab a small gift for them because they're just so helpful and absolutely amazing. Um, it's one of the reasons we like to stay here because the people, right? People make you feel welcome. People really help you. So the first little room, uh, that's a reception room. And let's go and have a look. Yeah, so this this little room, the reception room, anything you need, you can speak to them and they can always help you. And right next to the reception room, this is like a small information room. Like I said, um, this place is very close to Southern Cove Beach. And on a really, really nice day, nice and warm, you can obviously go to beach. So most of people come to this uh, campsite, they like to go to that beach. I did a video about Santa Cove Beach, so you can check it out if you like. And here, there are loads and loads of things to do in Cornwall when it's raining. So you can always come to this room and find out what to do. So all of that. And Paradise Park is very good. So this is a little room just have you all the information, all the other sightseeing things you can do uh, when it's raining. And here is a dishwashing room. Just very, very quick, very fun, interesting story I like to tell. So for our second journey here, our second trip down in this campsite, my mom and my nephew are with us now. 
and one day my mom went to do the dishwashing uh, when she come back she told me oh you know what um i've just seen one block i was doing dishwashing but i think he probably never done it before because we haven't got a clue how to do it it just you know lots of still lots of bubble laps on the dishes and he just wanted to leave and i just being more nice and quickly show to do you know you need to rinse off and that <laughs> yeah that's my mom <laughs> she she's not being like rude or unrespectful she just tried to be nice and try to be helpful help other people <laughs> and then i just told her that's how not everyone but many people that's how they wash dishes here uh, they don't rinse off and they use tea towel to just you know dry it out anyway i did one video about that <laughs> you can uh, have a look <laughs> if you're interested um, and then you obviously go uh, men's toilets and uh, ladies this side um, I really like the shower here shop is lovely and hot and you don't need to keep pressing it so which is very very good and down there um, you also got a small laundry room so you can wash your clothes and your towels if you like so this place is a really really open place and um, you walk this side and there is a bit there is a quite low little wall separate this part and the main part so you can do you know you can stay here if you want and over there that's lens and airport it's a very very small airport and don't worry about the noise it's it's totally fine it's actually pretty cool to see the small airplanes take off and uh, landing so um yeah and these are not massive airplanes just small airlines small um, um airplanes i think this lens and airport can only take you to some small islands just around the corner or or around this country um yeah um because it's very small okay now let's go to the main bit um this is a cove campsite is very small it's not very big it's usually quiet um, now this is end of august so you can see there are not many people on this campsite now when we first got here end of july it was a bit busier because kids are just off school and um, it was busier but now it's very quiet um, so you you don't feel like you know you're on top of each other um, yeah or we'll just to do a small walk um, and here is a little small playground for children you know one thing I really like campsite is every time when we're out when we're at the campsite I think it's just open air and lots and lots of space and children just like to come out and play with other children they can play football or they can play you know rugby or they can just play hide and seek with other children it's just a is it just really nice to see children you know have so much space because we live in London we really appreciate this open open air and open place um yeah so um I just want to say a little bit more about the Sennacov beach and where we are so this is Sennacov um beach is down that way only about five minutes drive um that's for me Southern Cove Beach is one of my favorite beaches in UK I think it's really really beautiful personally I think Cornwall got the best beaches in the UK what you may not agree <laughs> you must mm, we have the best beaches in in other place but for me personally I think in Cornwall 
you have the best beaches here. Um, so we've tried the different places, uh, but every summer we like to come to Southern Cove because of that beach. When weather is nice, we just get ready and go down, spend a day at beach. When rubber, when weather, when it's a rubbish day, uh, it's raining and windy and cloudy. We can just do some sightseeing. Like I said, there is still plenty of things to do in uh, Cornwall. And um, yeah, we'll just have a look. So this is not a massive campsite, but I think it's a really good size. Um, and I think they only open probably from May to October. So they don't open the whole year round. Um, and obviously it's, you know, summer and they're busy time. Um, I think it's too cold probably to come here during winter and it's definitely too cold to go to beach here uh, that Sandon Cove beach anyway and down there if you drive a few miles that's the closest little town called San Just um, it's a small town got some shops pubs and restaurants and it's about half an hour away from Penzance if you need bigger supermarkets and Starbucks and things like that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much everything. And um, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye.